What's going on, everyone? It's Wrench. This episode of Hard Sin Cigars, it's fucking October. So that means Oktoberfest. We're going to be drinking good Hofbrau House Oktoberfest beer. We're going to be smoking this beautiful lost and found butter, a scurl. And I mean, this is looking nice, oily, sexy. The smell of like buttery artisan almost bread. Churned kind of creamy butter off the, off the foot. Looks like we got a... Looks like a triple cap. But I could be going fucking blind. You never know. Or it could be a batch of bad booze. Let me tell you a little bit about this cigar. It's a five and three quarter by 46. That's a Corona Extra. The wrapper, Dominican HVA. The binder is Dominican. The filler, we got Dominican and Brazil. Mm. It's about $10 a stick on this, which is a good price, if it's good. <laughs> but we don't know if it's gonna be good until we smoke it. So, before we smoke, Dust Boot. Dust Boot. Dust Boot. Dust Boot. Dust Boot. Oh, that Hofbrau House Oktoberfest. It's good. German purity laws with the beer. We've got hand rolled cigars. And it's Saturday afternoon. So let's fucking rock and roll. We're going to go with a double V. Blow the tip off because you don't want to get that tobacco in your little mouth. That'd be bad. Let's go ahead and toast this up. That looks nice. Looks like we got a decent burn. Kind of woodsy. Maybe some uh, like bread crust. But like that like Italian type bread crust where it's kind of like a little thicker, a little crunchier. Kind of a dense taste. Long on the draw. A little leathery coming in. Smoke's almost a little chewy. Definitely tasty. A little creaminess on that smoke. Well, if this is your first time hanging, your first time here, I salute you. Unless you're all up in your feels, then the cigar and the beer, just me in general, probably offended you. So this probably is not where you should be. Bye. Toodle on. But if you're sticking around, you're returning. More fucking power to you and let's party it up, man. Light a cigar up. Grab a fucking boot. And let's fucking hang out. Let's smoke good cigars. Let's party. Let's burn the fucking town down. Some earthiness.
Oh, man. And it's nice if you look at this, it's got kind of a rustic farmer old feel to it. Very nice. It's. Man, it's very nice. That's all I can say. Beautiful day out. I'm assuming if you're on the other end of this camera and you're watching. You're fucking beautiful, too. Even if you're not. You could be the most hideous fucking nasty beast around. And as long as you're feeling it, you're beautiful, too. Still nice amounts of smoke. I feel like dark nutty with a little bit of leather on the back. I feel like a lot of dark flavors. A lot of dark notes, you know. Um, right now, I'd be like begging, begging for like a, a sweetness. A little sweetness kind of just, just teasing me with it. A little, little teaser, you know. But I'm not getting it. Tastes good. Just a little dark. I don't know if anyone caught, <coughs> excuse me, The Many Saints of Newark, the Sopranos prequel. Uh, I was a huge Sopranos fan. I mean, I think I've watched that series six, maybe seven times over. I mean, be realistic. Greatest fucking TV show ever created that has ever had the grace of touching so many people. Um best cast, the directing, the dialogue, I, I mean, everything, it, it was, uh, I mean, it, it's almost like uh, God came down and, and made it himself. Uh, but that, that prequel, The Many Saints of New York, uh, I think, I mean, sucked a dick so big. I mean, you have like a sperm whale supposed to have the biggest dick in the world. Nope, it sucked even bigger dick. And that's got like a six or seven foot dick. I mean, we're talking gigantic apocalypse fucking dick falling from the sky. Terrible, terrible fucking movie. Ray Liotta's in it. I like Ray Liotta. Yeah. A little white trashy, but, you know, I like Ray Liotta. This fucker played two parts in it. Two parts. The first guy died, then he played the fucking brother in prison. I'm like, he like, I'm like, oh shit, there goes Ray Liotta. Ray Liotta's died, he's dead. Five minutes later, oh fuck, there, there he is again. It was like he's fucking reincarnated. I'm like, didn't he just die? Oh, no, he's his brother. It didn't get good into Johnny Boy. The guy that played Junior? You can fucking flush that guy down the piss of do. I mean, it sucked. I mean, he had, it, you know, he had some like, oh, motherless cunt, you know, fucking crazy shit, you know, that he eats pee while, just like Junior said in The Sopranos, you know, like when he was with Hesh and Tony and uh, Jackie Prio and they're sitting down and Johnny Sack was there and uh, they were they were talking about reparations. And Junior goes, man, you gotta, you gotta keep your hand on your cock when you're fucking dealing with these desert people. And Hesh is a Jew and I'm like, holy fuck, you know, I mean, Junior was, he was fantastic, you know, he was an amazing character. But back, this one, terrible. Silvio Dante, when the fucking hairpiece came off and he's bald underneath, and I'm like, oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. Silvio had great fucking hair in The Sopranos. No homo. Great hair. But I, I couldn't fucking believe it. It was it was terrible. I I watched it last night, like, 2 in the fucking morning, and uh, you know, my wife was like, well, you fucking hated it so much. How come you kept watching it? 
because I needed to I needed to know if I would if I would completely hate it. I don't want to just fifty percent hate it. I want a hundred fucking percent hate it. Terrible. And for David Chase to make that, I kind of think that David Chase must have died a few years ago, and somebody took his place <clears throat> because that was terrible. I I, I don't know. I don't know. I I can't even. I couldn't stomach watching that again. If I had the if I bought the DVD, I'd fucking burn it. But you know, in my last video, my last video got some comments out here. You know that I'm you know I might be looking to get banned. I might be looking to get banned because uh, you know I I had brought up a uh, very ugly transgender person in a drive-through. Um, yeah, you know it's life. You know. Um, You know, life is crazy. You you wouldn't go out west and go to one of them drive through safaris that they got out there if you wouldn't see crazy shit, you know. So I drive around and go to places, you know, because I like seeing crazy shit. I like seeing shit that I can't normally see in the suburbs. Kind of got like a like a wheat flavor coming through. I'm getting like a lot of like weird weedy bread notes or like buttery bread notes or crusty bread notes. A lot of bread notes from the start to the finish here. I mean, fuck if if you put a if this thing you know if you get a couple of flavors coming out like maybe sausage and peppers, it would fucking go great with this cigar. Like if you were having a fucking sausage and pepper sandwich with some good monad, I mean. It, it go, it go great with this because there's a lot of bready, there's a lot of crusty, a lot of wheat, a lot of butteriness. Um, it go great with this cigar. But I'm fresh out of fucking sausage and peppers. I made a sausage and pepper sandwich last night. Nice smoke output, though. We're going to continue on on this. I'm going to think of some more shit to rant about. Back. Still funk on that. Burn one. Keeps wanting to run. Tons of... It's like bitter wood. Bitter burnt wood. Um, totally unappetizing coming out. Totally. I mean... Be realistic. I, I can't even... Ooh... I can't even stand the taste of this right now. I really wish something sweeter would have came out of this. Maybe pairing it with a Oktoberfest. It was the wrong deal. Um, maybe something sweeter. You know, like a sweet tea or something like that. Might have been a little better, but... This is probably where I'm, I'm going to be... I'm going to be putting this thing to, out to pasture. Cause it's uh, oh, terribly bitter. I mean, bitterness, bitter burnt wood. on the no buy again sheet uh man um I mean when it first started out 
that nuttiness, the creaminess, that artisan type bread crust. Um, the first serve was pretty good. First serve pretty good, creaminess, some butteriness coming through there. Um, second, third, uh, a lot of dark, a lot of darker notes. I really wish something sweet would have popped in or something different. Um, it it got to the point right here. Oh nope. Um, my palate would kick me in in the balls if I finish smoking that right now. Um, just I can't do it. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna rate this one. Um, I'm gonna rate this one about a three out of ten. Three out of ten. Solid. Solid three out of ten. Um, I'm out of beer, so I can't even post. But till next time, get out here, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Hearts and cigars.